All right, welcome everyone to another Tuesday Newsday, this time professionally recorded, which is nice. Uh, professionally, with ear quotes, you just don't see me doing them. I am joined by uh, Dream, Red, and Sinzar. Hey, guys. Hello. How's it going? All right, so, um, well, it seems like uh, we got an interesting GLEX unit banner this time around. Who is hyped? Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty exciting. It's unexpected. Was it? Uh, I'm actually hyped for the mechanics changes they're trying more than the unit itself. Yeah, yeah. Gumi actually seems to know how to do dragoons. What do you mean? Well, oh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, is is that skipping ahead too much? Okay, okay. let's not skip ahead. Let, let's let's start as we usually do, then then just with the banner. So the banner is Neo Vision Sky. So uh, what happened is Esther changed her name to Sky and uh, became a dragoon because that's literally what the unit looks like. And then we have NVA Sieghard. Um So Sky is a GLEX. Um, shit, what do we know about her? Uh, dragoon. Yeah, she seems like like in Dark Vision she'll be a dragoon, but in Chamber of Wills she'll be an LB finisher. From the way it was described in the update video, you actually right. won't use her jump in Chamber of Wills because her her morale scaling LB is going to do the most damage. The way it sounded from the video. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It also right. sounded like um, she wasn't wasn't element locked, but her like innate support is for wind. Hmm, okay. So they only they only specifically said the jump was an element locked, so there's a chance the shift LB will be. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah and, and I mean like um that that I guess is is an interesting way of doing units. We saw something very similar with Louise, where she has an LB that you don't use in uh, Clash of Wills because it's much lower damage than her morale abilities, but her LB is actually very decent in DV in a fire team. So um uh, so I guess it's similar in that sense. So yeah, meaning that these units that. kind of can do both, right? But Louise's thing was she was never top tier in DV. Like she was serviceable and strong, but like uh, top tier. She's pretty damn good. I don't know. Yeah, she was, her, she her was, was good. <laughs> she yeah, was the 90% on... break and 55% fire amps. Okay. Well, that's for yeah. herself only though. Yeah, she was on like the majority of rank one clears this last Dark Visions. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just, I was just thinking about the damage, but you guys are right. She brings so much more that she actually makes a fire team really strong in and of herself, kind of. Um, that's damage true. is high too. But yeah, it's yeah. high, but it's not like it's not. But yeah, if if she high. didn't do the team support as well, then she probably wouldn't be as much of a pick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, but um, so so obviously she has a sprite, <laughs> and it's there. Uh, she, Which Barris she... wow. is violently opposed to for some reason. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm not violently opposed to it. It's it's just not my uh, style. He doesn't understand what a visor is. Okay, listen, it's not a fucking visor. It's a, cir a circlet. We already talked about this in chat, and everyone agrees with me. Okay, including Flat. He was super <laughs> agreeing with me. He's like, "This is a circlet." Literally I agree no with you. one. <laughs> Okay, but it is a circlet. Like, this is the definition of a circlet. There's gems in it in the middle, and it, like, there's this thin thing that goes around your head, okay? Have you literally never seen a fantasy visor? Well, I've, when I hear visor, like Sinzar explained to me before, a visor is something that goes over your face if you have a helmet, or like in sci-fi, I've heard I'm the not... term visor for like these, like, glasses that you just go all over your face. But this doesn't. This goes nowhere near her face. This is a hair ornament. It's on like forehead, and then you can lower it down, or it's like you know, wind breaking when it, you're jumping into the air or whatever. Yeah, but motherfucker, it's not, it, it's opaque. You if you lower those... it down, it's a sleep mask. It's like, is she afraid I of mean, heights? Those... So she lowers it down, she doesn't see the heights when she's jumping. Like, I don't get it. Okay, listen, it's a circlet. We will leave this topic now. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's I, I don't hate the sprite. It's just not my style. It's a bit too cutesy for me. Um, she does the whole broom riding thing in, in her brave shit, which is actually pretty cool, though. Copying uh, our Grimlord Sak Sakura on that. Um, but I, I can see why people like it. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Um, so what about her TMR and STMR? Are they any good? TMR is going to be great for Dragoons. Like 50 yeah, they're, attack. They're both, yeah, 50 they're both attack and 50% nice. jump. Nice jumper gear, but for non-jumpers, they're not too impressive. Though the, the STMR is still like a high attack accessory with two killers on it, so that's nice. 
that's very nice actually yeah, yeah dragons and reapers that seems to be her kit kind of that she has dragons Probably. and reapers or she hates Probably dragons because those, those are the two races of the current clan <laughs> oh worlds. you think you yeah. don't think it has something to do with her deep lore or or backstory no Maybe this clash of will boss is also a great destroyer. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, great destroyer of lapis stashes, maybe. Um, okay, so she has a card, and it's actually a 110 attack card. So it's not uh, it's not 125, not even 115, actually. So that's interesting. Well, it's not going to be 125 because she's not a premium unit. But... Yeah, true. Thankfully. Yeah. We're going backwards. They had Ling at 115, they were back down to 110. Yeah, that's weird, though. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, guess, I would have expected 115, but sure. Uh, but, the but, offense, like, the passives on it are slightly, like, higher than Ling's, so maybe that was, like, a compensation. Sure. But, but one thing that was important was said, and this is not a premium banner, okay? That means you get the card at EX1 for this unit, and... Um, I don't know, we don't yet know, but it doesn't seem like she has EX2 abilities even, right? Not uh, probably not. N not at least in news. So it, it, like, but, but Sinzar, you said something really important about EX levels. Like, what happens if you just shitter one sky? Well, I said um, it's kind of foolish to pull her for Clash of Wills because she's going to be, you know, EX1, like, for the, the budget option. If you want to put her in Clash of Wills and you're going for that high rank which I would assume you are if you're pulling a unit for Clash of Wills. Uh, you got kind of got to be like EX2 minimum, preferably EX3. So it almost is a premium banner because you got to pull EX2 or 3 on the first two weeks. You can't, you, can't, you can't even wait for VIP coins because Clash of Wills will be gone by then. Yeah, and that's a very good point. I mean, th that is a very good point. It's a point that's kind of exhausting me in the game right now, this, this EX2, EX3 chase. And, and I mentioned this before the pod as well, but their system is so poorly designed to push this hard as they are for EX2 and EX3. Because as I said before, so if you pull two copies of a unit, you still have to wait for um, the shard dungeon to EX uh, to EX2 that unit. And if you copy, if you just pull one copy, it's also waiting until shard dungeon to uh, get the EX2. Meaning that pulling just another copy, it is entirely worthless. And the same thing goes the other way around. Like if you, if you pull, um, Dream, you said this, like if you pull two or three copies, it's the same thing towards EX3, right? Like it doesn't matter if you pull two or three. Yeah, it might be. I don't remember. Or it's, or it's three or four. But, but, but that's the thing. Like they, yeah. they built this ramp in such a weird way that like now an extra well, unit is entirely worthless. Yeah, it's it's partly like a consequences of just how our shard dungeon is, which frankly needs an update. That is true. That is true, though. Had we had a different shard dungeon, it would have been like then it still would have been actually very good to pull two units, because you would have had the ex two quickly and even during the banner. Um. So, Gumi, if you're if you're listening, like please, come on, like for the love of fucking god, just give us what JP has. It's it's good enough. Okay, like just just drop this quarterly shard dungeon bullshit it's it's hurting the player base especially now that you're going into ex2 and ex3 must-haves i don't know but okay like yeah have the current one on weekends yeah yeah i don't know just something just do that's actually not a bad idea current one on weekends just something that where we can get shards more reliably and more often um please Okay, but we don't know much more about Sky, right? I mean, we can, I guess, assume that she's going to be a fucking must-have for this cow, right? Because we know that her max stacked LB is, what, 750x? Yeah. It's either 750 or 705. I don't remember exactly, uh, but either way, kind of ridiculous. No, that's that's after the morale scaling. So yeah, like, that's yeah, what I mean. That's no. oh, after yeah. morale and after stacking. I mean, the whole point is, like, but, that's worth more than two Sephiroths, like, in a single unit, right? For, for Cal. Yeah, so when are you not fucking bringing this unit, right? That's what I'm afraid of. Like, this is... When she's EX1. <laughs> yeah, okay, good point. <laughs> I mean, that's, honestly, that's like, so true. If, if you're not at the level of, like, going really, like, full EX bonuses and stuff, then you're still potentially getting a ton of extra just damage score with, true. like, say, 12 to 15 EX levels. Yeah, yeah, no, true. And it's definitely, like, on what level you're at right now. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so I mean, on, we were like, kidding around low before. Low to moderate, yeah, and even like somewhat high ranking, you can still potentially get a pretty big boost from EX One Sky. Yeah, yeah. No, we were joking around before that like it made might make more sense bringing EX Three Cloud to Cal than you know EX One Sky. I'm sure that's not fully true, but but you get the point, kind of. Um, okay, but it's going to be interesting. Let's see how many people shitter her and, and how difficult this cow is going to be to cap without her. Um, I hate the concept well, of must-have units, to be honest. Like, I just don't like it. I, I get the fact that some units should make their cow or their DV easier, but being must-haves is just fucking dumb. If you want my honest opinion, they should just make Clash of Wills impossible to damage cap. That would fix a lot of the problems. Oh. Would it, one, though? Well, I guess thing... maybe. Like, I think they would be better with the damage cap, but yeah, one thing I've noticed that's also just been brought up in chat that I was about to mention is we have a new parameter on Clash of Wills and it's number of turns taken. Ooh! Oh, oh this oh, is no. made for me, motherfuckers, because I hate 12-turn clears. I will max I mean, score uh, the shit out of this. I mean, let's be honest, last one had a maximum of five turns anyway. Yeah. It wasn't like yeah, written, kind of. written in game, but it was you could not go tur past turn five. <laughs> okay, true, true. But maybe you can this time, right? That's that's the whole point. Like maybe this time you can, and maybe it's it's like it could be a serious uh, benefit um, to go like like may maybe the clear this time takes ten turns, and if you can do it below that for every turn, you get a huge amount of points. Who knows? Um, that would be that would be, I mean at least that would be interesting in my mind. But okay, hold on. Before we jump into a cow, let's just quickly, quickly talk about Seaguard. Seaguard and VA. Um, so yeah, I don't know who the fuck... Like, what is this unit, Cesar? Uh, he, he basically has one purpose. When there's Dark Visions fights... Yeah, that should... out in the arena. <laughs> well, that too, that too. But in Dark Visions fights, when you come into a boss that does unavoidable physical damage, you bring Seaguard to get a perfect score. Why Other is that? Other than those... Because he imbues the enemy and gives you a turn to skip that damage. So when the boss does like the cover piercing accuracy AOE physicals that you just cannot prevent, C card lets you take zero damage on that turn. So because you imbue him with like earth and then you just are yes. immune to earth. Okay. Yeah, and, and it, it turns the boss's non-elemental physical into elemental, which you then immune. So like the Alferg um, Dark Visions boss coming global schedule is so out of whack. Whenever it comes he'll be a good choice for that because you, you can just skip that damage turn and take zero damage and still get a perfect score. Hmm. That is honestly the only realistic use for him. Like, he is a tank. He's a fine tank. You can do the job with him. But but can you, have not... you done, like, Genies or, or uh, Asura with him? No, because the problem is, like, all these new tanks that keep coming out, it's like the, the, the past six tanks we already have do the job anyway. So tank number seven, do I really care that they can also do the job? Okay. For old content, not really. <laughs> no, but but maybe that's more like relevant if you're a new player, or well, I guess if you're a new player, you don't have Seaguard to begin with, so that's a moot point. But yeah, yeah, especially seven of them. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I suppose you're four because usually we seem to be getting seventy-five NVA shards these days a lot of the time. Okay, which yeah. is something. Uh, but, um, and there are no one, upgrades one for his TMR SCMR either, as I see it. So that's a shame. So. But yeah, one one thing he does do that he shares in common with Behemi is preemptive physical cover. I suppose that because we've got him late, there's like actually several that do that now. Whereas mm. I think on his JP release, it was he. I think he was the first physical one. He was, yeah, he was. He was the first version of that. Okay, and, and yeah, why is he arena cancer? Pretty... Like, what's up with that? Because that plus he does like Sorry. AOE charm attacks. Oh. And his normal attack is also an AoE chain, just like Coralie and Conch and all the others are like AoE chaining. So people that want to be annoying can build him to be annoying, but thankfully Global can't do it to the extent that JP can, so it's not as big of a problem here. Okay, why is that? Uh, in JP, you can buy infinite copies of the Berserker materia, and you can give your entire team oh. Berserk. On Global, oh. That's not oh. a, on Global, that's not an option. Oh, that sounds very powerful. Yeah. But I'm just thinking, I'm realizing I should actually now build a auto-attacking um, arena team. Not because I want to be a dick, but because I just want to press auto in arena instead of pressing yeah, repeat. So I, I should do that, actually. I should. Okay, but but Seaguard, at least, like, he's going to be a decent uh, tank, it, it seems like. Um, let's see. Um, and he does have this niche use of just 
skipping a turn of damage against the physical boss. Yes, it's just one. It's, it's a one-use, one-turn Magnus, but in Dark Visions, that's usually all you need. Yeah. Okay, cool. But that's interesting. All right, so let's actually skip now to the very fun stuff, which is that they've made some really nice changes to Cow. So uh, who wants to talk about that? No, we, we don't know if that would be nice, but... I'll just really? say, point out the thing that has me ecstatically happy is they're dropping the max EX level to 16. So EX 16 is now the full modifiers for everything. You don't need EX 18 anymore. So that's amazing. So there's some room, like you don't have to build a full EX 3 team. Or rather, you you can, so you can bring all EX 3 units and the EX 1 Sky and it still works out. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes, that, that, is, that is true. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so, so you have like room to drop two, uh, which is which is good. I mean, the, there's another benefit of this. Since they pulled that boundary down, it also means that if you were like, you're going to be closer to the boundary now in every case, right? Like even if you, even if you don't have a full EX3 team or EX2 team even, um, which well, I guess... Just, it makes, the, the way the change is done is it just makes, the defense and spirit boosts um, cost less EX levels. So if you're not, if you don't have those enabled anyway, it's not doing anything. But... Oh wait, but we are not enabling those anyway, right? Because <laughs> like you don't want to increase their stats. Well, well, you have to if you. Want yeah, if you want to enable all of them, score. sure, sure. But but what I'm thinking is like from the average player, that's probably the last one you want to activate because the boss is like yeah, it yeah. does so much to the bulkiness of the boss. That's probably the last one you want to activate. You want to go with HP and their attack magic and all of the others first. Well, it might depend if the elements like because the element resist buffs are still probably going to be fixed by now. So um, those might be more impactful bulk wise, mm. depending on the imperial levels and such. Yeah, true. But what we do see is they haven't changed the criteria, though. They haven't changed the penalties or whatever we call them. They are still the same as in Last Cow. They've just added the new one of students. Yeah, turn limit. No, but turn limit is just a scoring thing, right? Or did they add actually one of those EX things for turns as well? Oh, oh right. You mean the, the challenge things? Yeah, yeah the not, challenge things. Because those seem to be the same. They're the same, I think. Yeah, we're yeah. not getting one of those where it's like, oh... Um, healing is reduced, like they showcased in one of the videos. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I was, I was really looking forward to like new modifier or new challenge modifiers, yeah, not same just here. the same ones. Yeah, same here. I, I was hoping that that would be able to push us a bit like in different clear types and so on. Like a modifier for, yeah, I don't know, like it would be, it would be interesting, but okay. I mean, it's still, it's still going in a positive direction. Let's, I don't think we should expect everything to change at once. They are kind of testing this out. And they added now number of turns and uh, lowered the EX cost. Maybe next time we get one of the modifiers that sound a lot more fun. Um, and any other changes in this cow? Like, what is it? Is it? It's a Reaper Dragon, obviously, because that's what Killer Skies has. Oh, real quick, I'll mention, um, I actually scrolled down further in the news. They show the specifically. Um, yeah, so 10 turns or less is... Um, is max score. So if you go to 11 turns or more, you start losing points. Oh. That's that's basically irrelevant. Well, is it though? Like you still don't know the stats, right? So that means that means that is perfect for Zidane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that that's enough time to set up literally anyone. It is, it is. But but what if this boss is like tanky as fuck? What if like a, a casual player like me is gonna take 30 turns beating it? Get good. I mean, like, that's actually an interesting thing. That actually makes me a bit excited. That actually makes me a bit excited. Also, hey... Maybe maybe that's why they made yeah. Sky have, have 750 mods. mods. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Like, and, and how good would Edel be in in uh, in such a scenario? Like, if you have to go, like, around 20 turns, would she actually be good? Mm, probably not currently. She, like, she be okay, but... If she does eventually get her crown enhancements from JP, then she'll be very good. Oh yeah, I've heard about those. Mm -mm -mm. Those yeah. do seem I mean, very nice. It it makes her like six turn cooldown finisher have like a thirty seven hundred mod. Yeah, it's like dumb. I know, I know. Okay, but but very interesting. I mean, another cow that's more content. That this is going to be fun uh, running. We we also. Those of you that saw the video that the Gumi posted, there's also some talk about zombie and being able to handle that. We don't know yet what that's about, but we're going to find out as it goes live. Um, 
Cool. So what else do we have? Well, what's the event for Sky, you might be asking? Um, and the answer is very simple. It's Item World. <laughs> That's our content. Wonderful. Yes. Yay. That's actually good, though. I actually need to um, Item World a bunch of stuff, so I'm okay Namely with it. Namely, Sephiroth's Katana? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I, I honestly have a ton of stuff I haven't perfected yet either. Like, both fists for Tifa are not perfect yet, and, and a bunch of other stuff. I, I don't... Um, I don't perfect anything so i'm like normally don't run idle that much because i'm like yeah that's good enough i've got 30 percent on the important ones yeah well okay perfected is maybe a, a bit of a stretch i don't either go for the like rare plus 15 plus 12 like i don't i don't do that much but i do try to get close to it at least um but okay here's an interesting question so uh we all know that mazurka's stmr might be really good for sky because it's a two-handed spear. But this item world actually gives out a 160 attack. Oh, never mind. It's wind elemental. Okay. Yeah. So, But it does give Wait, out a 160 I mean, she, attack spear. She wants wind for like her own support stuff. But yeah, when wind, wind doesn't work, you'll yeah. probably, like as a budget op option, uh, Stoss spear will still be pretty de decent. Yeah, it's so low attack, though. It's it's. Uh, it, I mean, it's one forty five compared to this having one sixty, and it has a hundred percent jump on it. So like, it's obviously a lot worse than Berserker's one, but yeah. it's not terrible as a budget option. Well, I, I guess it's another reason to be happy you pulled the Berserker. Like, uh, if you pull Sky, that is because Berserker's STMR would probably be really really good on. Oh yeah, and Sid's STMR is like usable for the first time in years. <laughs> Yeah, because like it was never usable by him even. I know Muspel yeah, tried to look, make that point at one pod, but he's wrong. Like you never use this STMR on him. It was entirely useless. Nah. Okay, but yeah. Um. So so it, like, and this wind spear is not bad. Like again, it's it's one hundred sixty attack, wind elemental, two handed, has built in fifty percent jump attack, and its rare is actually sixty percent attack and fifty percent uh, true do do true double hand true double hand. Um, so that's, that's something, but yeah, it's, it's an item world. Otherwise not much to say, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the spirit 60% is, uh, spiritual sword. Isn't that the, the old event sword they gave out a while back? Uh, like yeah. 100, it's 100, yeah. it's, 125 it's, spirit, I think. Yeah. It's, it's like a good for newer players for like tanks that can't use staves. Yeah. yeah it's all right. It's probably, um, prob it will, it will probably be in the item world milestone rewards as well. So you'll have another chance to pick that up. Yep. Obviously, it's um, superseded by like Myth Graven Blade and one other one, I think. But um, yeah, it's still like a decent budget magic tank option for all those fights that need magic tanks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, fights that need tanks in general are far and few between, yeah. unfortunately. Well, I guess cow. I mean, I'm assuming this is gonna need a tank. So that's at least something. Like there, it gives me a reason to gear um, the actual tanks. And we don't know if this is going to be a magic fight or a physical fight yet. I guess either. So no. I hope it's going to be a physical because I want to bring fucking Behem. No, I want to bring Afmal. I want. I want this to be a physical fight. Please let it be a physical fight. Um, there's one thing. Last thing I, I think we should mention before we end the episode, and that's uh, there's also this fifth anniversary after party exchange thing. Um, but it seems to be just normal exchange coins, basically, because you get them from doing 11 summons, and then you can exchange it, for lapis, pearls. It's, or, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the same thing we had um, with the like Leviathan Nicole banners and the one before that. Uh, I forget who it was. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's, it's the same same exact thing. We're just you can just do it again. Okay, I, I, I'm surprised. I didn't I didn't know you could buy a lapis and shit from it. I just haven't checked it out. Or actually, uh, yeah, I do know. It's in the special shop. Yeah, it's nine, nine free, yeah. It's from generic summons. Right, right. There is there is one thing I'll point out real quick. I'm noticing for Clash of Wills, um, the news saying the boss will do fierce counters if you hit it with ice or light element. Oh. So if you remember, um, the majority of the EX18 clears in the last Clash of Wills didn't actually one-shot the boss. You hit it really hard and then finished it the next turn. But... Um, this means if this is the same way and depending how fierce the counters are, that means you actually can't use Noctis at all, ah. which oh, is, yeah. which he's is pretty, that's, 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 that's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a uh, popular unit. Aerith as well, actually with Holy. 
Exactly. You're not going to oh, yeah. that either. Yeah. True, true, true. Maybe water. Well, I mean, we still know no. that, like, what's its weakest element now again? Fire, right? Oh, it's... Wind is its major Wind. weakness. Fire Wind. and earth are minor Wind. weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, so okay. first, sky, sky is right there. How could you forget what? Yeah, it's I'm sorry. I like I realized how dumb that question was as I asked it because I could just look at Sky's unit sheet. Um, okay, but uh, that's that's interesting. Some of the staple units are, I guess, going out in favor of the more cow centric units. I guess. Um, also, Boo well, is asking in chat. It, like, oh, sorry. Go ahead. If it can still be like, if it can be like OTK'd on your burst turn, then it's gonna be fine. Probably, but um... uh, yeah, exactly. If you can kill it at once, but but again, like the turn count is a bit interesting. Like maybe that does say the boss is bulky as fuck. So I don't know. Let's see. It is going to be interesting finding this out on Thursday and just just playing around with it. Um, it it kind of feels like going in blind as well because when the gates open, everyone goes in and no strats are still posted, and then you have to wait yeah, like fifteen 15. minutes, and then Sinzar posts the first video. But uh, you have, in I those fifteen currently... minutes more interesting than dv fights for like strategizing and stuff definitely definitely yeah. and i feel i i also feel there's more room because like in dv you well i guess partially it's true here too but like in dv it's really either you have the optimal comp or you go fuck yourself and cry in a corner but here i do feel there's a lot more room for also individual strategizing which i think is cooler like i think it in my mind it would be amazing on one hand, on one hand that's true with like the actual unit selection, but then the EX level thing, it kind of brings back the go fuck yourself with a vengeance. True, true, true. No, no, no. That that's true. But but in my dream scenario, it'd be cool if like me and Sinzar could still get a very high score, but with entirely different teams, right? Like like using maybe different strats. Um, we're still not seeing that though. That might come in the future. But yeah, Boo asked, what about the NB select ticket? What are you guys gonna choose? Wait, do we know what units are available in that uh, uh, select? Uh, yeah, it, oh, and the, the same ones wow. from That's last cow. As in like two days. Yeah, people what? have to you have to spend it before maintenance. So oh, don't that uh, I thought you're talking yeah. about the obnoxious drops. No, the old. One. Oh, the old one. I thought he I thought he was talking about the one that was voted, where like then we get like double NV unit voted or some shit. Well, that that too, but that that's coming <laughs> later. We actually we actually have one open right now, and if people are smart, they didn't use their pick until the last day, so it's still waiting for a pick. That's uh, tomorrow is the last day to choose. Oh, okay, okay. No, I picked yeah. like day one, motherfucker. I I cannot delay gratification. That's I, I think I've got some of them left, and I've used some of them. But uh, obnoxious drops. That's still just a single envy, right? And I think I have three hundred yeah. left or some shit. I think that sounds mm -hmm. about right. Well, you'll get you'll get enough for another one. It should be another thirty five hundred and then three thousand yeah. each. But it's yeah. the same shop for three clash of wheels at once. Well, and Melia was in the shop, right? Uh, yeah, yes. she's one of them. Nice, because I actually shittered one of her recently, and I would love to ex one her because she was actually really good as a magic tank at least. Um, to chain you with Elena. You don't buy the twenty VIP shards every single week for the new units. Uh, well, actually, I do for many units. I just didn't do for her. I was surprised when I went into her um thing and looked it up, and I didn't actually. So I have thirty. Uh, so that was that was actually. But but normally I do. Normally I do it for every unit. Might as well just forgotten it on her banner. I'm yeah. annoyed that I didn't do it for Noctis and Arden. You didn't That's do it for Noctis and Arden. 30 of those. No. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I just definitely did it for those yeah. two. <laughs> I just wasn't wasn't doing it in general at the time. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, still, I'm, I'm trying to do it. I'm just forgetting. Like, I even have it for units I don't even want to get. Uh, but, like, Vlad, I have it for him. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, okay, but anyway, I think we've kind of exhausted the content for this week. It's a very exciting week, though. I can't wait to throw myself into the into the cow. I'm coming inside the cow Thursday? Stop. Oh no. Just 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 stop please. Yeah, it just felt wrong. Just felt Bye wrong. guys. Okay, bye guys.